Hey everybody, I'm Joe. And I'm Scout. And this is the Valor 29T18. Scout, what are some of the specs on this thing? Yeah, the 29T18 has a length of 33 feet 11 inches with a dry weight of 8,235 pounds and a GVWR of 13,000 pounds. All right, how about we take you guys inside and show you some of the great features. All right, Scout, so we made it inside and we came right to the patio system. Back here, you know, it's set up great for tailgating, but it serves more than that purpose. What else can you do back here? Yeah, so this is not only the, the patio section, we have the full encasing for that patio. Uh, another option is gonna be the three season glass doors, um, but this is doubling down as the ramp to get into this 18 foot garage. Uh, so there's a lot of multi-functions here. This patio is actually fully weather resistant as well. Um, so a lot of great features on this patio section. Nice, but before we head inside, uh, outside here you do have that little hole for your backup camera so you can put on any backup camera system you want, right? Yes, so it's universally prepped for any wireless backup camera. We also have the patio lights coming off here. Yep, so you can have additional light back here while you load your toys in or use this space in the evening hours as well. Correct. Great, all right, let's take them into the garage now. So moving into the garage space, you got this great, you know, multifunctional couch setup here. Yep. What's going on with the system? Looks like a lot can be done. Yeah, so what we're sitting on, Joe, is the Happy Jack rollover system. So these are not only two couches. This can flip into a queen-size bed, uh, so multifunctional. Also included is a six-foot table. You can actually put it right here. Uh, it's multifunctional as well because you can move it into the patio, outside. Um, it's a freestanding table. And then above us is going to be another queen-size loft bed. Uh, so several sleeping arrangements for, for people joining with you. Nice. So just for those that aren't here physically right now, it looks like, you know, if you put this up, you could fit three. Yes. Keep that down. You got two people comfortably. You got a table here that you can put in, or this turns into two queens over queen beds. Yes. You have the queen over queens. Another feature that we added is outlets on both sides. So charging stations, easy plug-in for phones, iPads, anything back here for the extra guests. For the guests that are sleeping back here. I love it, awesome. All right, Joe, so we just showed them all the different configurations of the Happy Jacks, the loft above. So a lot going on there. Um, we also have additional seating and sleeping in this floor plan with the jackknife sofa. Um, can you tell us what's across from this jackknife sofa? So directly across from this, it's optimally set up for this nice 40 inch smart TV here. Yes, yeah, so we have the smart TV. We also have the, the great JBL sound system. Uh, so you have speakers there. You're gonna have two additional speakers in the garage, and then speakers outside. Yep. Um, I think this is really nice because you have plenty of window coverage on this full side. Uh, so a lot of natural light and great entertainment space. Yeah, so you've got these giant atrium windows that fully open to let in natural air flow and just all that natural light, plus you're getting light from back here. But if you are at a campsite where you can't put that down, yeah. you got plenty of windows in this floor plan. Yeah, plenty of windows and plenty of seating. Yes, love it. All right, let's take them into the kitchen. All right, there's a lot going on in the kitchen of the 29T18. You have a 30 inch residential microwave, a three burner cooktop stove with a pretty decent sized oven, and you do have plenty of storage you know, all around it as well. You have a large 12 volt Ferion refrigerator. And then at the front over here, you have your kitchen area with your deep stainless steel sink and plenty of cabinetry. All right, Scout, so there's seating for up to like eight people in here. You can sleep, you know, six, seven, eight people as well with the, the Happy Jack bed system. Mm -hmm. What else about this space have we overlooked? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is this is a toy hauler still. So there is a full 18 foot garage um, with over 12 D rings throughout. So you have a little bit of flexibility to connect all the toys, uh, e-bikes, you name it, kayaks, canoes. So a lot of functionality and uh, you have some flexibility on, on what you want to use this space for. Love it. All right, why don't you take them to the front of the coach, show them the bedroom and bathroom, and I'll meet you right here. Let's do it. In the bedroom space, you have a queen size bed with outlets on both sides of the bed and plenty of window coverage on both sides and in the back. Underneath this bed, you have additional storage and we open up the space for shoe storage underneath the bed frame. Now we're in the closet space. There is plenty of hanging space for all of your clothes, folding space underneath, and then we also do the hidden flip-up storage going all the way across. 
To give you a quick overview of the bathroom, we have an oversized shower, an optimal location for the toilet so you're not having to walk around it, a great vanity setup with a medicine cabinet above to make it easy for your travel needs. All right, Scout, so we did a quick overview of this whole entire trailer. We showed them the patio, the garage space, the kitchen, the bedroom, the bathroom. What other features do they need to know about before they make a decision on this floor plan? Yeah, Joe, so one of the things we wanted to speak on was the air conditioning system. Uh, so standard equipment on this is gonna be one AC. Uh, most dealers are stocking it with the two air conditioners. Uh, so you can run both of those off of 30 amp service. Uh, some of the creature comforts that we like to hit on is gonna be residential cam lighting. Not a single thread of carpet throughout this entire coach. Uh, we also are doing color-coded, number-coded wiring, water shutoff valves at every plumbing location. Then we're also removing any in-floor heat vents. Uh, so it keeps the, the dirt, debris out of the floor vents, um, makes it super easy to, to get that heat dispersed all throughout. Nice, keeping the toy hauler cleaner because you're not gonna get all the crumbs and the dirt down in the, in the vents. That's it. Awesome, all right, why don't we go ahead and take you guys outside now and show you some of those great exterior features. All right, now that we're in the exterior of the 2019-18, let's talk construction. How is this thing built, Scout? Yeah, so in our sidewall construction, uh, that key alliance feature, we're using Asdell composite materials instead of Luon wood. The Asdell is 50% lighter, carries two times the insulation value, but it gets rid of that rot, mold, uh, delamination factor. Uh, when we're speaking on the roof, this is that full PVC roof covering. Uh, it's 80% more solar reflective. It carries a lifetime warranty. It's patch repairable and virtually maintenance free other than checking your seals. Yeah. So we're really hitting the nail on the head when it pertains to, to construction. Yeah, so you're really giving a full 360 wrap of protection essentially. Yes. So you got that Asdell aluminum sidewall construction, really just protecting you guys from the elements all around and then the yeah. 360 roof. Yeah, Joe, and you, you spoke on the Asdell there. Um, not only is it on the outside layer, but we're using it on the inside layer, so it's double as the laminated. Nice. That's very important for those when, when you go out and actually go on, on adventures with your you know, your side-by-sides, your dirt bikes, or your e-bikes too, because you're going to yeah. bring a lot of dirt and water in the trailer. I almost forgot to mention, even our floor in the Valor Travel Trailers is Asdell composite material, uh, so it's protecting your investment there as well. Nice. So you got that composite floor as well down there. Yes. So you're literally doing a whole 360 level of protection of composite materials that's not going to rot, mold, or mildew when you do get water in this trailer because you're going to be bringing it in. Yeah. Love it. All right, what's the next feature we want to talk about? Yeah, so we have this oversized awning above um, with the JBL sound system. We talked about it in the inside. Uh, it's also on the outside. We're doing a water spray port on the door side of this coach as well as an LP Quick Connect so you can hook up any gas grill. Nice, so you can, you can rinse off your dogs or your pets or your kids and then hook the grill up and enjoy a nice meal. That's perfect. Nice, it's the perfect campsite for a toy hauler. All right, let's hit the front of the trailer. All right, now that we're on the front of the 29 T18, you have this beautiful fiberglass front cap with a great docking light, so that way you can see your hitch when you're getting up. What else is going on up here, Scout? Yeah, Joe, so right there in that door is gonna come with an Onan 4,000 watt generator. Uh, it does come with a 30 gallon fuel station that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, to the right behind this door is going to be your battery bank. Not only is this prepped for lead acid batteries, it's also prepped for lithium batteries. So really your choice there. Um, but the, the beautiful thing is, is it's protected by a door. Uh, your batteries have a safe spot. Typically in travel trailers, they put it on the A-frame up front. Uh, so that's something unique. What can you tell them about this, Joe? Yeah, so this looks like it's your standard two 20 gallon LP tanks and you got a power tongue jack that's underneath this little cover protector and there is a light underneath there so it provides additional light when you're hitching as well. Yeah, let's go talk about the off door side. All right. All right, so now we're on the off door side of this coach. What you'll find is a 12 gallon gas electric water heater. You can run this off of propane or electric, totally up to you. We have a 30,000 BTU gas furnace that is heating the underbelly as well as the interior of the coach. And then we're getting into the docking station. So easy docking for all of your water. Uh, this also has the power stabilizing jack controls. And then we're doing slide out controls on the exterior of this coach. So you can control this coach 
slides from inside or outside. We have plenty of storage on the, the side of this coach, as well as one termination point for all of your plumbing. This has 98 gallons of fresh water, 40 gallons of black, and 40 gallons of gray. All right, moving to the rear of the coach, you have your 30 gallon fueling station right here so you can keep your toys full and it also helps provide fuel for your generator as well. Directly next to me, you're gonna have the Lippert on the go ladder. And this is very easy to use. It just collapses down so you can have easy access to the roof. All right, everybody, so that almost concludes the tour of this 2019 You have an 18 foot garage, plenty of sleeping and, and seating options, as well as a great kitchen, bed, and bathroom area. Yeah. Scout, what other features do they need to know about this great off-road uh, RV? Yeah, so this has a lot of off-the-grid features. We mentioned that 4,000 watt generator. Um, that's gonna power up not only the entire coach, um, you could be plugged in. And in addition to, we have a 320 watt solar panel on the roof that's charging any of your 12 volt items. Nice, that's awesome. So this thing is ready to go and go boondocking for your guys' adventures. All right, so this concludes our video walkthrough of the 2019 T18. Joe, how can they learn more about this floor plan? Yeah, absolutely. So you guys can go to AllianceRV.com and you can always find more floor plans there if this one doesn't quite fit your needs. Also, if you want to connect with us, go to any social platform and just search at Alliance RV. Everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. All right, now we're in the interior. Blah, 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 blah. All right, one, two, three. Now we're looking at the kitchen. There's a lot going on here. You have a 30 inch residential microwave, a th three, not four burner cooktop. All right, one more time. Ready? Hello, Clarice. What's up? <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> High five each other as they come around. Ready? So much room for activities. <laughs>